Hi, welcome to English Simplified Channel. By this learning video, you'll understand what the first crucial point that you must think over if you are conducting or writing a research. Without waiting, let's get started. Suppose you're being questioned with this question. What should you think and have first if you conduct or write a research? What is your answer? In conducting or writing a research, we must think over about the research question first. And you'll ask a question. Why? Because, the research question is the foundation of your study. It drives the entire research process by guiding your focus, defining the scope of your investigation, and shaping the methodology and analysis. Before you can determine a suitable title for your research, you need to clearly define what you're studying and what specific aspect or aspects you're exploring. Therefore, formulating your research question is usually one of the initial steps in the research process. Then, the next question is, what should we do to have it? Well, to formulate a research question, just follow a structured process that involves seven key steps. They are A. Identify your research interest. B. Conduct a literature review. C. Define the scope of your study. D. Brainstorm potential research questions. E. Evaluate and refine your questions. F. Formulate your research question, and G. Test your research question. What are meant by them? Let's clarify point by point in detail. A. Identify your research interest. Start by exploring topics that interest you within your field or discipline. Consider recent developments, controversies, gaps in knowledge, or areas where further research is needed. Reflect on your own interests, expertise, and career goals to narrow down potential research areas. Identifying your research based on your interests is important for several reasons. 1. Motivation and engagement. When you choose a research topic that aligns with your interests, you're more likely to feel motivated and engaged throughout the research process. Research can be a long and challenging journey, and having a genuine interest in your topic can sustain your enthusiasm and commitment, even when faced with obstacles or setbacks. 2. Intrinsic satisfaction. Conducting research in an area that interests you can provide intrinsic satisfaction and fulfillment. It allows you to delve deep into a subject matter that fascinates you, explore new ideas, and contribute to knowledge in a meaningful way. This sense of satisfaction can enhance your overall research experience and personal growth. 3. Expertise and background knowledge. Your existing interests and background knowledge can serve as a valuable foundation for your research. When you're passionate about a topic, you're likely to have a deeper understanding of its nuances, trends, and challenges. Drawing on your expertise can help you formulate insightful research questions, design rigorous methodologies, and interpret findings more effectively. 4. Relevance and impact. Research that reflects your interests is more likely to be relevant and impactful within your field or community. By addressing questions that matter to you personally, you're better positioned to generate innovative ideas, identify novel solutions, and address pressing issues. Your passion and dedication can also inspire others and contribute to the broader conversation within your field. 5. Career Development Conducting research in areas that interest you can enhance your career development and professional growth. It allows you to build expertise, establish a reputation as a thought leader in your field, and create opportunities for collaboration, networking, and recognition. 
Research aligned with your interests can also lead to publications, presentations, and other forms of scholarly output that contribute to your academic or professional portfolio. Overall, identifying your research based on your interests not only enhances your personal satisfaction and engagement, but also strengthens the quality, relevance, and impact of your research endeavors. It allows you to leverage your passion, expertise, and creativity to make meaningful contributions to knowledge and society. B. Conduct a literature review. Review existing literature to understand the current state of knowledge in your chosen area of interest. Identify key concepts, theories, methodologies, and findings from relevant studies. Pay attention to gaps, unanswered questions, or areas where further research could contribute new insights. Take notes and organize your findings to inform the development of your research question. Conducting a literature review involves systematically searching, analyzing, and synthesizing existing scholarly literature relevant to your research topic. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how and where to conduct a literature review. 1. Define your research topic and objectives. Clearly define your research topic and objectives to guide your literature review. Identify key concepts, keywords, and search terms related to your topic. 2. Select relevant databases and sources. Choose appropriate databases, libraries, and online repositories to search for scholarly literature. Common databases include academic journals, conference proceedings, books, dissertations, and reputable websites. 3. Use academic search engines. Utilize academic search engines and databases such as PubMed, Google Scholar, Web of Science, Scopus, and PsycINFO to access a wide range of scholarly publications. These platforms allow you to search for articles, citations, and related research in your field. 4. Search and retrieve literature. Conduct comprehensive searches using relevant keywords and search strings. Refine your search criteria based on filters such as publication date, language, and study type. Retrieve relevant articles, abstracts, and citations for further review. 5. Review and evaluate literature. Evaluate the relevance, credibility, and quality of the retrieved literature. Read abstracts, summaries, and key findings to assess whether each source contributes to your understanding of the topic. Pay attention to the methodology, sample size, limitations, and implications of each study. 6. Organize and manage citations. Organize your retrieved literature using citation management tools such as EndNote, Zotero, or Mendeley. Create bibliographies, citation lists, and annotated references to keep track of relevant sources and citations for your literature review. 7. Analyze and synthesize findings. Analyze the findings, themes, and patterns across the reviewed literature. Identify common trends, debates, gaps, and areas for further investigation. Synthesize the information to develop a coherent narrative and framework for your literature review. 8. Write your literature review. Structure your literature review according to academic conventions, such as introduction, body, and conclusion. Provide context, background information, and a rationale for your review. Summarize key findings, discuss relevant studies, and highlight their contributions to the field. Critically evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of the literature and identify future research directions. 9. 
Update and revise regularly. Keep your literature review up to date by regularly revisiting and updating it with new research findings and publications. Stay informed about recent developments, emerging trends, and debates in your field to ensure the currency and relevance of your review. 10. Seek feedback and peer review. Share your literature review draft with peers, mentors, or colleagues for feedback and constructive criticism. Incorporate their suggestions and revisions to strengthen the quality and clarity of your review. By following these steps and utilizing appropriate resources and tools, you can conduct a comprehensive and insightful literature review to inform your research project effectively. 10. The next point is c. Define the scope of your study. Based on your exploration of the literature, define the scope of your research by narrowing down the focus of your inquiry. Consider the specific aspects or dimensions of the topic you want to explore in your study. Clarify the objectives, boundaries, and context of your research to ensure that your research question is focused and manageable. Defining the scope of your study is crucial for ensuring that your research remains focused, manageable, and relevant to your research objectives. Here are steps to help you define the scope of your study. 1. Review existing literature. Start by conducting a preliminary review of existing literature related to your research topic. Identify key concepts, theories, methodologies, and findings from previous studies. This will help you understand the broader context of your topic and identify areas that warrant further investigation. 2. Identify specific research questions or objectives. Based on your review of the literature, clarify the specific research questions or objectives that you want to address in your study. These questions should be clear, concise, and aligned with your research goals. Consider the aspects of the topic that are most relevant or interesting to you and where you can make a meaningful contribution. 3. Consider constraints and limitations. Take into account any constraints or limitations that may impact the scope of your study. This could include factors such as time, resources, access to data, or ethical considerations. Be realistic about what you can feasibly accomplish within these constraints. 4. Determine the population and sample. Define the population or sample that you will focus on in your study. Consider factors such as demographics, geographical location, or specific characteristics that are relevant to your research questions. Determine the size and composition of your sample based on practical considerations and the objectives of your study. 5. Choose the geographic and temporal scope. Decide on the geographic and temporal scope of your study. Determine the geographical boundaries within which your research will be conducted, whether it's a specific region, country, or global context. Consider the time period or time frame that your study will cover, whether it's historical, current, or projected into the future. 6. Specify inclusion and exclusion criteria. Specify inclusion and exclusion criteria for selecting relevant sources, data, or participants for your study. Define criteria based on factors such as relevance to your research questions, methodological quality, and suitability for your study objectives. This will help ensure that your study remains focused and aligned with your research goals. 7. Clarify the scope of analysis. Determine the scope of analysis for your study, including the variables, concepts, or factors that you will examine. Define the parameters of your analysis and establish boundaries for what will be included or excluded from your study. 
This will help ensure that your analysis remains focused and manageable. 8. Consult with advisors or experts. Seek input from advisors, mentors, or experts in your field to help you define the scope of your study. Discuss your research questions, objectives, and proposed methods with them to gain insights and perspectives that can inform your decisions. Their feedback can help you refine your study design and ensure that your research remains focused and relevant. By following these steps and considering these factors, you can effectively define the scope of your study and ensure that your research remains focused, manageable, and aligned with your research objectives. Point D. Brainstorm potential research questions. Generate a list of potential research questions that arise from your exploration of the literature and the defined scope of your study. Consider different angles, perspectives, and approaches to framing your research question. Aim for questions that are specific, relevant, and feasible within the constraints of your research project. Brainstorming potential research questions involves generating a variety of ideas and possibilities related to your research topic. Here's a step-by-step -step approach to help you brainstorm research questions effectively. 1. Clarify your research topic. Start by clearly defining your research topic or area of interest. Identify the key concepts, themes, and variables that are relevant to your topic. Consider the broader context and significance of your topic within your field or discipline. 2. Identify key issues or gaps. Review existing literature to identify key issues, gaps, controversies, or unanswered questions related to your research topic. Pay attention to areas where further research is needed or where existing studies have yielded conflicting or inconclusive findings. 3. Ask open-ended questions. Begin by asking open-ended questions that encourage exploration and inquiry. Avoid overly narrow or closed questions that limit your thinking. Consider questions starting with, what, how, why, or, to what extent, to stimulate creativity and critical thinking. 4. Consider different perspectives. Approach your topic from different perspectives or angles to generate diverse research questions. Think about the various stakeholders, theories, methodologies, and disciplines that may be relevant to your topic. Consider how different factors, contexts, or variables might influence your research questions. 5. Brainstorm freely. Set aside time to brainstorm freely without judgment or evaluation. Write down any ideas, questions, or associations that come to mind, regardless of how unconventional or ambitious they may seem. Use techniques such as mind mapping, free writing, or brainstorming sessions with colleagues to generate ideas collaboratively. 6. Focus on specific aspects. Narrow down your focus to specific aspects or dimensions of your topic that interest you or that you believe are particularly important. Consider breaking down your topic into subtopics, variables, or research domains to explore more targeted research questions. 7. Evaluate and refine. Review the list of brainstormed research questions and evaluate each one based on criteria such as clarity, relevance, feasibility, and potential impact. Refine and prioritize your list by selecting questions that are most aligned with your research goals and interests. 8. Seek feedback. Share your list of potential research questions with peers, mentors, or advisors for feedback and suggestions. Consider their perspectives and insights to further refine and improve your research questions.
Incorporate any feedback or revisions as needed. 9. Select final research questions. Choose one or more final research questions that you believe are most promising and feasible for your research project. Ensure that your selected questions are clear, specific, and capable of guiding your investigation effectively. By following these steps and techniques, you can brainstorm a wide range of potential research questions and select those that are most suitable for your research topic, interests, and objectives. E. Evaluate and refine your questions. Evaluate each potential research question based on criteria such as clarity, significance, feasibility, and alignment with your research goals. Revise and refine your questions as needed to ensure that they are well-defined, focused, and capable of guiding your research effectively. Seek feedback from peers, mentors, or colleagues to help refine your research questions. F. Formulate your research question. Based on your evaluation and refinement process, select one or more research questions that best capture the essence of your study. Craft your research question in a clear, concise, and specific manner, ensuring that it addresses the core issue or problem you want to investigate. Your research question should guide your inquiry, provide a framework for your study, and align with the objectives of your research. And the last step is point. G. Test your research question. Before finalizing your research question, consider testing it to ensure its viability and relevance. Ask yourself whether the question is researchable, whether it aligns with your research interests and objectives, and whether it will yield meaningful insights. Make any necessary adjustments or revisions to your research question based on feedback and further reflection. By following these steps, you'll be able to develop a well-defined and meaningful research question that serves as the foundation for your research project. Hopefully, our discussion is beneficial. Catch up with you later.